Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about action in Tableau. So um, basically creating an action in the dashboard is basically creating a linkage between two or more than two worksheets in, in one dashboard. So now I'm going to show you, uh, actually this is a video based on my viewers request so I hope this can answer your question. So for example, so now I'm going to create two worksheets and I'm going to put them in the dashboard and I will show you how Action can link them together. So for my first worksheet, I'm going to create some um, some some um, options such as um, like a like a filter worksheet. So I'm going to put in let's say category to the text field. So you can see that there are three um, there are three categories in this worksheet. So I'm just going to create a simple example to explain what a, what what does action do in, in in Tableau. So this is my first worksheet and now I'm going to a second one. So now I'm going to create um, another view. So I have category and subcategory. And then I'm going to say I'm going to show let's say just the just the sum of cell, so that you can see that this is just a random and simple view. So I have category, subcategory, and then the cell, a uh, sum of cells by this uh, for each uh, subcategory. So now I'm going to put these two worksheet in one dashboard. So let's say I have three uh, options on the top, and then I'm going to drag this graph. Put it at the bottom. Okay. So what you can think of this as there are three options that you can select on the top. There are three categories. And then you can see and then you can and then you have a visualization at the bottom container. So now I'm going to create an action for this dashboard which contains two specific uh, two different worksheets. So you go to dashboard and then action here and then add an action. So I'm going I'm going to talk uh, I'm going to talk uh, talk the three options here. So now let's look at the filter. So let's say I you can create a name for this filter uh, for this action, and then uh, so when you select action a filter, basically you are telling that I'm going to use this action as a filter. So you can see that you have three options here, and then now I'm going to show you how you can create using uh, how to use this action. So uh, your source work, uh, your source source sheets are basically telling you um, to ask you to decide which worksheet you want to use it as a as your as the filter. So for example, uh, I only have dashboard one here. So in dashboard one, I'm going to use my first worksheet, what is this one at the top as my source worksheet. And this source sheets will affect my target sheet. So in our cases, the target sheets will be our second worksheet. So I'm going to select second sheet, sheet two as my target and sheet one as my source. So, and then I'm going to select, I'm going to use select as my as my way to run this action, and then um, if this is a, if this is only a simple uh, uh, filter, then you can you can just go with the, the default one all fields. But if it is too complicated, then you probably you want to specify your filter, uh, your option. So you probably want to select using the selected fields. Now I'm going to add another filter. So basically, you can see that I have so for my two worksheet, the overlapping uh, um, dimension is category. So I'm going to only select category here. So you can see when you select category, the target one will by default select category as well. So now this is how I create my action, my first action, and then always click OK to make sure that this action is saved. So now. There's nothing changed in the view, but what has changed is the linkage or the connection between these two worksheets. 
So now let's say now so now I'm going to click on this furniture on the on the text and then uh, observe what will happen at the bottom uh, at the bottom worksheet. So you see if I click furniture, only the furniture category will uh, will display in this uh, in, in the bottom worksheet. Now let's say I click on technology. You see technology will appear, but all the other all the other category will disappear. So now let's go with office supplies. So this is how, and then you, if you de deselect the, the, your your filter, then everything will reveal again. So this is how you use an action, how to create an action as filter. Okay, so now let's go back to the action. And now I'm going to remove this one and create another one. So we have seen the filter one. Now I'm going to show you the highlight one. So the same. So, so for the source is that where where you want to begin or where you want your user to to click on it. So for in our case, it's, it's sheets one. We want our user to click on the first sheets. And how and then after the user click on the click on the button or on the options, how do you want them? How do you want their action to affect um, the worksheet? That's the that's the target sheets. So that you want to select sheets two as the target worksheet. So what you did on here will affect on the on, on your second worksheet. So let's say for highlight, I always want to use hover. And then you can you can by default use all fields, or if you want to be specific and then select category since we only have category in in our view. Okay. So always make sure to click OK to save your um, to save your action. Otherwise, your action won't be saved. So for this second type of action, which is highlight, and then now I'm going to show you what will what is what what does it look like for this one. So now if I move my cursor all the way up to worksheet one, you see, if you hover, I, I haven't clicked the clicked the, um, the 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 filter yet. But when you hover over furniture, you will see that the furniture will be highlighted in sheets two as well. And then when I go down to office supply and then technology. So when you hover over, the 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 the, sub, the corresponding category will also be will also will be highlighted since we are using the highlight um, action. So now we have seen let me remove this again. So now we have seen the filter and the highlight. So for this URL, this is a, this is another another kinds of option. So you can see that there's only source sheet. So for example, let's say let's say you have a you have a website talking about let's say furniture, or uh, you have another website talking about office supplies and another website talking about uh, technology, and then. If if you so in this case, if you want your user when they click on the on the filter, which will bring them to another uh, let's say website, this is how you this is this is the case when you want when you would like to use the URL action. So your source target will still be sheets one in our scenario, and then you can type in like a, like a website here, Google.com, and then use the select. Which means when the user actually click on it, and then that action will bring brings the user to the website, and then when and then you can click OK, and then OK to save it. So now if you click um, click the option here, and then there will be a browser open which will bring you to that website. Uh, I don't have I I don't I didn't I, I haven't connect to the internet in in my desktop, so I would not I'm not going to click that. So, um, but basically, uh, just uh, when you click, it will open a browser and bring you to the website, the URL that I just type in, which is Google in, in, in my example. So now I have to show you all three cases uh, for the action. So filter is basically just uh, you first create a, a, a list of selection and then allows your, your user to click on the action and then and then you can uh, and then you can filter by 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 click 
and then highlight it just uh, when you hover over the options and then you see the part will, 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 will be highlighted but the but the other category won't be disappear as in filter when you click on one of the options the other the other category that is not clicked will be removed and then the URL action will brings you to another website so um, thank you very much so I hope this will can answer one of my viewers question uh, so let me know if you have any question. Thank you.